Okay, hi everybody, welcome to this verbaling class with me. I'm teacher Amy, and today's class is going to be a bit of a fun class on um, an interesting topic, which is the six attributes of millionaires. So, if you want to find out what the secrets are of becoming a millionaire, then um, do follow along with us today. I, I think this class is fully booked, so if you do want to join us, you're welcome to watch this class and comment. Um, we're going to be using an article to base our discussion on and basically reading these six attributes and chatting about them, deciding what we think. Do we have these attributes ourselves? If so, do you think it's more likely that we will become a millionaire? Perhaps there are some millionaires among us. You never know. Um, so if you've booked a slot, do come along in and join us. And while we're waiting for everybody to get here, um, I just want to share a couple of pages with you that you may not be aware of, so let me do that now. I'm going to paste the pages into the Verbling chat box, which is working. Yes, Ali? Hooray! Um, the first one is my Verbling Facebook page. So if you're a Facebook addict or you like to check in on Facebook now and again, then do click on my Facebook link and like me, and you can see what's going on with Verbling. Feel free to do that with as many teachers as you'd like, and you'll get their news updates in your feed, so you can keep in touch with verbing English teaching and learning as you check Facebook, which is probably quite often if you're like most of us. Um, if you're interested in finding out more about what this thing is that we're doing, if you've never come across verbing before, um, you're watching this on YouTube or somewhere else on the internet, and you think, wow, this is cool, what is it? Um, you might want to visit us. Go to verbling.com. Um, and if you want to find out more about the teachers, the best place to go is to the Verbling teacher page, which is the second link I've just pasted into the chat box. Um, if you click on that, you'll find out some information which might help you, um, which includes um, information about the teacher, who they are, what experience they have, etc. Um, videos, which give you an idea of the teacher's personality and how their classes go. Um, also, there's schedules, so if you're interested in either attending a class or attending a private tutoring session, you can see the teacher's schedule and you can book slots from the teacher page, so that's helpful. Um, and the other useful thing is that we have a messaging feature which basically allows you to contact any of the teachers if you do have any questions or want to get in touch with them directly. So, a great place to go. Um, the Verbling teacher page is just verbling.com slash teachers slash the teacher's name. So in my case, it's Amy G. Um, check out those pages if you have time. All right, so we're now back to talking about what we're going to do today, which is um, talk about the attributes of millionaires. So before we actually read this article, um, we're going to have a little brainstorm and think, what do we think the attributes of millionaires might be? And that is my question for you today, guys. So I'm going to type that into the chat box so you can have a think about it while I'm saying hello to everybody. Um, what do you think an attribute... Let's spell this correctly. Uh, ...of a millionaire might be? All right. Let's say hello. Who came first? I think it was Ali. How are you, Ali? Hi, Amy. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Good. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. Um, how was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? It was ages ago now, wasn't it? It's nearly the next weekend. Um, no, it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's forget about last weekend. It's well into the past now. What are your plans for this weekend? Uh... I think uh, I'm going to work <laughs> this weekend. No. Oh no! How come, Ali? Do you usually work at the weekend? Uh, yeah, in this month uh, you, uh, we have a lot of work to do. It's yep. uh, uh, like a tax uh, season in my country. Mm -hmm. And tax. I think, uh, yeah. <laughs> And uh, it will continue until uh, April, not April, maybe May. Mm. All right. Uh, so you've yeah. got a couple more months to go. Tax season. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I have a lot of work to do in this month. All right. Well, that doesn't sound like such a great weekend, Ali, but at least you're attending an exciting verbling class today on Friday. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, welcome. Lovely to see you. Nice to see you as well. Okay, who else do we have here? Luis, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Luis? I'm fine, thank you. Good. And what plans do you have for this weekend? Uh, I have. I I will ride my bicycle. Ah, okay. And do yes. you have a plan of where you're going to ride your bike? I must be close here. Oh, 100 kilometers, some city close. Okay. So not too far from where you live. Yes, uh, driving by bicycle is a little far, but by car should be two hours, three hours. Wow, so that's a long way. And do you, what happens when you get there? Do you turn around and come back again to your house? Yeah. Yes, usually I, I do this, yes. Wow. Luis, you're extremely impressive. <laughs> Thank you, Chicha. <laughs> All right, yeah. lovely to see you again. Um, and welcome. Thank you. Who else pleasure. do we have here? We have Paul. How are you, Paul? Okay, hello. I'm great. Thank you for asking. And I'm going to work as well on the weekend. So oh, it's great. Right. No, it's great. Really? It's great. You love your job? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, it's a difficult question, so let's not talk about this. Okay. Actually, I'm, I'm having a holiday today and tomorrow, so it's great also. Ah. So my working schedule doesn't follow the days of the week, so it's pretty random. I see. Yeah. So you just have your weekends at different times? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Okay. Well, it sounds like you're pretty positive about it all, Paul. <laughs> yes, I'm crazy positive. Excellent. Good to hear. Well, good. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Um, Ismail, how are you? I am doing well. Thank you, teacher. How are you? I'm great. It's lovely to see you. I haven't seen you for a little while. Yes, I took a break. All right, and I how was your break? I have been busy Pardon? I had some problem with my workplace and mm. I lose my appetite, appetite to improve my English, teacher. <laughs> you lost and your I appetite. I miss verbling. Well, we're very glad you got, you came back. And how is your work now? Has it improved? Sorry? Has Could you repeat work? again? Sure, I'm just wondering. Has your work situation improved now? Yes. Uh, Great. It is okay now. That's awesome. And well, I'm glad to hear it. I motivated again and I joined Webling. Wonderful. It's great to have you back, Ismail. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and it's great to have you in the class, so welcome to you. Um, Helen, hello. Hi, hello. Good evening, Amy. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Same. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for asking. How are you? So tell us about your... We're discussing our weekends, Ellen, and we've got two people who are working. So tell me, you're not going to work this weekend, are you? Uh, not at my work, but my parents are moving, so I have to help them out. Oh. And, and then um, I'm going to go dancing and um, going to the theatre. <laughs> wow, that sounds like a really busy weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but busy in a good way. Yeah, busy in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, enjoy that, Ellen. And you could be you. dancing away and thinking of poor Ali and Paul slaving at their yeah. work. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> Great. All right, welcome to the class. Thank you. Um, Theo, how are you? Hi. Um, hey, I'm fine. Thank you. Excellent. How was your day today? Uh, yeah, it, it was quite uh, good. I, I stayed at home. Uh, I didn't work today. so. Ah, you had the day off. Yeah. Cool. How come? Is that just your usual schedule? Yeah, usual schedule, yes. Okay. I will work on the weekend as well. Oh no, three of us are working for the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> well, Ellen is going to party on behalf of all of us. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. <laughs> all right. Wonderful. It's lovely to see you, Tio. Um, all right, guys. So our article today is called uh, The Six Attributes Shared by Millionaires. And we're going to read that in a short while. But before we do, I would like to ask you um, what you think might possibly be one of the attributes on this list of the six attributes. What do you think millionaires are made of? So um, I'm just going to ask you if you have an idea just to let me know and I'll get through all of you eventually but does anyone want to start us off? Is it like their personal, how they are in as, as a person? You mean? Um, yes, it's 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 really everything to do with their personality and how they deal with their life. So, what kind of attributes they have, um, what what actions they take, what things that they do that may be slightly different from other people. Um, not so much inherent characteristics as things that they are able to do or that they work on improving. They're not afraid to, to invest, I think, if you okay. want to become... And not afraid, afraid to really. invest. Yeah. What do you mean by invest exactly, Ellen? Yeah, like um, when money comes in, they're not gonna save it. They want to invest it to get to get bigger and to get further on and to to yeah to yeah. Okay. Yeah. To, okay. To, so maybe. Yeah. Let me put. Uh, I don't know what's happening with the chat box. It seems to me like it's stuck. Can you go see what I'm typing in there? I'm going to use the Google chat. Yeah. Um, so what I'm going to put, Ellen, is not afraid to invest or maybe like slash spend money on things, on furthering their career or something like that. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Great start. Anybody else? Okay, um, I think um, these people are highly functioning individuals. Um, by that I mean that they work 24-7, okay. almost, I think, and uh, um, they're just uh, incredibly skilled in their field of um, um, business or something else. Yeah. Um, also, they are really good public speakers and they just are very comfortable speaking to public. Okay. Uh, um, and they um, probably have a really high self-esteem. Okay. Thank you for all of those yeah. ideas, Paul. Um, all right, I'm typing them all into the Google chat if you want to keep your eye on it. Um, anybody else? Who's next? How about you, Tio? What do you think about millionaires? What kind of attributes would they have? Mm, I think uh, most of them just spend money, uh, buy expensive car, or <laughs> good at spending time, money. You know, one of the first things you do is uh, spending money. I think. Okay, so you're looking at it from the point of view of what happens once you're a millionaire, right? Then you can spend your lots of money. Yeah. Okay. Um, how about you, Luis? What do you think about millionaires? What are they like? <laughs> uh, I think I can tell about the Brazilian uh, just <laughs> okay. because I don't know, but uh, I don't see many. But uh, in Brazil, sometimes they are not millionaires. They are just uh, showing up their properties. And people believe so. Uh, if the person in Brazil start to use uh, expensive clothes or expensive buy expensive cars, apartments, uh, money will comes in because uh, there is a feeling that that person attracts money. So everybody will buy things from from them and and believe in everything he says. Okay, interesting. Yes. <laughs> So in a way, money attracts money, is what you're saying there. Yeah. yeah. Yes, they use a magnet expression sometimes. The, mm -hmm. That there is people who uh, born with that magnet, magnet, uh, uh, magnet uh, attraction. Magnetic, magnetic. Magne yep. Magnetic. <laughs> well done. Yep. 
Magnetic attraction. That sounds amazing. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm trying to have at least four women, but it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's One day I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> Magnetic attraction for women, money, anything really. Yes. Would do. <laughs> All right, excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Ismail, what do you think? Uh, the the millionaire are generally uh, risk take taking people. Okay. And they don't. I think they don't think when they show how much they spend, and they are uh, they are different uh, than the other people, actually, because. There are not so much millionaire around. Okay, so they're, they're certainly different from other people, or they're um, unique in some way, possibly. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna put that. That's a cool, interesting point. Um, all right, and last but certainly not least, Ali, what do you think? Uh. I don't know. It depends on the person. I think uh, maybe uh, what determines your behavior is uh, how to earn your money. If you uh, earn money easily, uh, some uh, of uh, rich people uh, waste uh, their money easily. Easy come, easy go. Like. Okay. Uh, yeah. And uh, like a show of other people. Mm -hmm. And uh, if uh, a millionaire is a smart person and uh, deserves the money and wor work hard to get uh, earn that money, they usually help uh, other people and uh, invest money for something useful or something. Uh, uh, to help other people or around uh, them, you know. Okay, awesome. So, investing money in others, let's put that. Yeah. Okay, I think we've got a really good range of ideas there, sort of treating the subject from different perspectives as well. So, let's have a look at the article and see what the article says. Um, I will share the link with you in the chat box in the Google chat box, just in case you're wondering where that is. And we're going to have a look at it. So, let me do a screen share. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see that. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to read it one point at a time, and then we're mm -hmm. going to discuss what we read um, to see what we think about it. Do we agree? Do we know anybody who's like this? Do we think we could possibly be like this? Um, if so, you, what you're going to get is that big pool of money you can see there in the picture, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> um, I think most of those are just one dollars though. There's a couple of fives and tens there, but nothing major. Okay, so the six attributes shared by, oh, sorry, this is young millionaires. So I don't know what we're talking about, old millionaires, or what young really means. But maybe we'll find out. So let's go ahead and start reading. Ali, could you take the first couple of paragraphs, please? Okay. Being a millionaire is very rare in our society. Many work their whole lives and never reach the status. Of course, they'll validate uh, that any way that <coughs> they can, saying things like, I don't care about money. Millionaires aren't happy. I don't need that much money. I'm sure you can think of 30 others' validations. You don't make a million by accident, and if it's not a goal, you sure as hell won't hit it. This article isn't about the money. It's about interrupting the belief system you currently have and propelling you toward real world. Here is what I've discovered over the past 10 years and the common you'll see in all young millionaires. 
Okay, thank you, Ali. Quite exciting. We're about to find out the secrets of becoming a millionaire. All right, so um, just a couple of words to talk about. This one here is pronounced toward. Toward. Yep. Great. And this one is themes. Themes. Perfect. Well done. Just a note about a typo. This should be 30 other validations. Not others, but other. 30 other validations. So that's a mistake. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Anyone have any questions about vocabulary? We all okay? Quite straightforward. All right. In that case, um, let's continue reading, and we're going to go to point number one. So I'm going to ask the lovely Ismail. Okay. <coughs> number one, urgency. The best companies on the planet love young tal talent. They love. Love those who are on purpose and those with a sense of urgency to their life. Google is hiring more teenagers than college graduates, and even a year a twelve year old who is just beginning high school realize now matters more than any other time, and the someday I'll mentality is killing so many so many dreams. Opportunities are only opportunities if you are taking full advantage of them. Young millionaires always do, and they are consistently reaching for new goals and ambitions. You must have a sense of urgency that most of society doesn't have if you are serious about success. Wonderful reading. Thank you, Ismail. Um, just a couple of slight changes. So this is... This word here is pronounced purpose. Purpose. That's better. Yep. And next one is this one, mentality. 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 Well done. Okay, thank you, Ismail. So any questions from anybody about vocab? No? All right, excellent. So in that case, I'm going to ask... Paul, what does this one mean? What is, what's it saying about urgency? What does it mean by urgency? Okay, um, it's interesting point. Um, by urgency, um, um, it, uh, uh, this article means that um, those young people are really some kind of restless and they really uh, look forward to doing uh, a lot of things in order to improve their skills and, be, and becoming uh, successful. And they can't stop, actually. And uh, this uh, article suggests that um, more adult people are uh, some kind of fed up with life in some point, and they don't want to uh, do so much in order to uh, improve. So um, they're a bit lazy, but um, yeah, young people are really restless. Okay. Thank you. Okay. That was a really great little sum up and a nice, um, nice way of putting it with some different words. So let's see what Tio has to say. Tio, what do you think about this point? Do you think urgency is is um, a, a useful attribute to have? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, yes. Uh, you are actually pushing. Uh, younger people to to do their best okay do you think it's something that is natural in in a person or do you think that you could possibly cultivate it if you think about yourself do, would you say you're an urgent type of a person I think it's something that uh, has to be cultivated mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah, in a, I mean, uh, that uh, society has to push young people to, to, they, to give their best. All right, so you think that it's almost um, the responsibility of society to bring this out in young people? Yeah, 
I think so. All right, interesting point. What do you think, Ellen? I, I think, yes, in one way, it, it's with, with some people it has to be cultivated, but I also suppose that some people already have it as a as already like yeah like a natural characteristic maybe yeah 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 um what would you say about yourself do you think this is something that you have naturally or not at all uh no i think i, I have to be cultivated <laughs> <laughs> right okay um, how do you think this could be cultivated Um, I think you have, you have to start early at school uh, already to cultivate mm -hmm. it, so to make it like a way of life, to make it like an, yeah, a second nature. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I think it's quite an unusual characteristic, really. I hadn't really thought about this much before I read this article. Um, who hasn't spoken yet? Louise, what do you think about this idea of urgency? I think it's nice. I learned from an American friend because we don't have this in Brazil. <laughs> because we have everything we want and yep. some people they have uh, like food in your, in your own house so it's like uh, people grow without expect the worst. We don't have hurricanes, so uh, I think Japanese people, especially, they are always saving because they can that um, can be a natural disaster. So people are always thinking about the future. Mm -hmm. So a friend of mine told me about the sense of urgency. We we have to. To, we must have this kind of thing and sometimes we are t slow to get money because we, we have enough but we yeah. don't think about five years or ten years ahead mm -hmm. okay great so point Louise, nice. it's interesting um, uh, so you're all saying yeah okay yeah yeah uh, I'd like to add up to this discussion because it's funny but my dad used to say to me um, you are not exactly Duncan MacLeod, you're not immortal, so you need to do something today. <laughs> okay, uh, it, 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 it is really wise, yes? And, <laughs> and um, it is exactly what it says in this um, paragraph. So, but those people really understand that they, they not, are not immortal and they do things actually. <laughs> not talk about things, but they do. <laughs> and it, it, it's, it takes uh, a lot of effort, I think. It, it's great. Thank you, Paul. I really like that quote from your dad. I've written that in the chat yeah. box. <laughs> You're not immortal, <laughs> so you need to do something today. Yeah. All right, good. <laughs> Thank you. Ali, what would you like to say about this? Yes, uh, I agree. Uh, this uh, things uh, maybe if you start uh, in your young age to do something, maybe uh, like a teenager uh, or maybe some of them are still children, they are uh, more creative than the other people. Mm -hmm. And sometimes uh, going to school and uh, Memorize something uh, useless. Uh, it's uh, make your talent uh, worse. How to say? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, you are going to school and you uh, learn a lot of useless things. Uh, you will never use in real life. Uh, it's a kind of waste your time. If you have mm -hmm. talent and opportunity, why not to start work and uh, maybe discover something or create something new? Yeah, it's good, I think. All right. 
Um, it's kind of interesting how we're sort of saying that young people have more urgency than older people, which seems silly because surely the older you get, the more urgency you should have <laughs> because you're nearing the end of your time faster. I don't know. That doesn't seem to make sense to me. But I think you're right when you look at reality. What do you think, Ismail? Uh, well, uh, I think opposite of you, teacher, mm -hmm. because uh, when you get older and older, you think carefully and you step with... Uh, with uh, lots of caution, caution. Because, caution yep. because you cannot uh, risk everything. You don't have okay. uh, too much uh, opportunity in, at your hand and you can lose everything <laughs> what you build until uh, that time. And but yes. when we look at young people and they don't have anything and they can uh, behave uh, more attack than older and they can uh, take risk and they're uh, ambitious. And yeah, I think Ismail, that's that true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Environment play an important role to, to cultivate uh, young people uh, Heading. When we, what uh, do you mean by environment? Do you mean country or school or parents? I mean culture, uh, society, yeah. Yeah. and uh, economic system and uh, tradition. Okay. Uh, um, you are, make a really uh, good point, Ismail. Playing a very important role in this uh, subject. All right, so it depends on a lot of things and also your age. That's a good point. Um, I hadn't thought of that, that you've got um, less time to recover any losses that you risk and possibly lose when you're older. So therefore, you don't have so much urgency. Could be true. All right, interesting number one. Let's move on to number two. And I'm going to ask Luis to read that one for us, please. Okay, teacher. Uh elevated influence. Behind every young millionaire, you will find an educated and wise mentor. I have yet to meet any millionaires or billionaires who don't have mentors that guide them, challenge, challenge them, and focus, focus them on thinking bigger. They understand deep down that it is pos impossible to grow, learn, and become the person needed to reach the million mark without an exceptional network behind you. Success rises and falls on who you associate with, so make sure you stay aware of your surroundings and can systematize systemat systemat a lot of things, but you can't systematize time, so make sure you are always spending it, uh, spending with uh, the right people. Thank you, Louise. Really lovely reading. Um, just two words I want to go over here. So this one here is elevated. Elevated. So the emphasis comes right at the beginning of the word not on the vated, okay? It's elevated. Elevated. That's better. Well done. And the same with this one. Educated. Do you want to repeat it, Louise? Sorry, teacher. Uh, I think the connection is... Oh. Uh, educated. Yep, so try not to put too much emphasis on the cated and more on the beginning, educated. Edu edu educated. That's better, well done. <laughs> I know okay. it's tricky, but um, makes all the difference when you're speaking and it's much easier to understand if you get the emphasis correct, so well done. Thank you. Um, the rest of it was perfect. Okay, so any questions about vocab before we discuss this book?
No? All right, in this case, I'm going to ask Ellen. Ellen, what do you think this one's all about? Can you give it a little summary? Uh, yes. Um, um, it says that uh, um, having a mentor um, yeah, who is wise and who has the knowledge um, can give them a push in the right direction. Um, and that it is important um, to think big and to have a, a, a network. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Um, all right, so basically the people who you connect with and the people who help you are very important in, in your success, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so Ellen, tell us what you think about this. Do you think this is um, something that, if you had to look at your own life, would you say that this applies to you as well? Uh, the part of the millionaire one, no. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's always it, it, yeah, <laughs> it's always good. I mean, a mentor you can have it in every uh, at your work, um, with your hobbies, with your uh, at school. I think mentors are important in every way, um, mm. and to have a network as well, even if it's not of becoming a millionaire, but. Um, Yes, and to, to, to focus on things, yeah, I mean, yeah, in, in a way it does, um, um, in my own life, a bit like, um, how you say, yeah, I, I can um, adapt to it, I can rely to it, I mean, no, how you, you say, can relate. Um, you can relate, relate to it, yes, I can yeah. relate to this, yes. All right. Um, who else would like to make a comment about this one? Okay, I'd like to. Sure, go ahead, Paul. Okay, so uh, I really think that it's an incredibly important point because it's so good uh, when you have um, a mentor, as it says in the article, by your side. It's incredibly important. And I can understand it because I uh, listen to my father, uh, who is a pretty wise man, but mm -hmm. uh, he's not... We can tell, uh, because um, of the last yeah, quote. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, uh, there's a uh, um, issue, because um, now I am grown up, and I understand mm -hmm. that he is not an authority for me, because he is not good at business enough, he's not good at politics enough, he just um, makes uh, random suggestions uh, based on um, his own thoughts. But um, he's not an authority. I think you understand what I mean. Um, mm -hmm. If he uh, were a politician, real one, or if he were a successful businessman, I would listen to him more uh, closely and carefully because um, uh, like, uh, he uh, proved that he is worthy li listening, but he's not. And <laughs> I have a difficulty. So I like perceive them uh, sometimes as um, just um, a talker and not an um, authority, as I said. So um, there's an issue. And it's really good when you have um, really skilled people and loyal to you uh, who yeah. you can um, just uh, talk to and ask questions. Really good. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Paul. Um, all right, let's go on to number three. And it must be uh, Theo. Could you read number three, please, for us? Sure. Uh, maxim uh, maximizing uh, their strengths. One of my favorite uh, Gary Vayner Chuck uh, quotes of my times is uh, uh, I. I search at 90% 90 of stuff, but I go all out of one that 1% I'm good at. Uh, we are conditioned by our teachers, peers, uh, parents, uh, uneducated uh, coaches, and everybody else uh, pumped to give advice that uh, you must learn uh, to work uh, on your weakness uh, 
and uh, strengthen, uh, strengthen uh, your weakness. But uh, all young millionaires uh, focus 100% uh, on uh, their best skills and strengths. They learn uh, to surround uh, themselves with people who uh, compli compliment their weakness or de they delegate uh, them. Uh, you'll never get the wealthy uh, fo focusing on uh, things uh, you aren't uh, good at. Uh, what is uh, your one thing? Uh, you can, uh, you can. What uh, can you become uh, the best at? Now, once you master that area and uh, start producing uh, real result results, uh, you can. You can then move to something else. The luck, the jack of all trades, trades, is a uh, seldom exceptional and anything at anything, and usually broke as well. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much, Theo. Just a couple of um things to talk about. Don't forget that this is plural, so you need to pronounce the last syllable. Weaknesses. Weakness. Yeah, well done. This word here is suck. <laughs> suck. Yep. And the last one, oh, it, and that was all of the ones I wanted to mention. Really good reading. I just wanted to mention this, this word here is incorrect. This should be complement with an E, not with an I. C-O-M-P-L-E-M-E-N-T. This word here is a compliment, like a nice thing to say about somebody, but this is not what it means. It means to... Um, add to or, or um, complement in the other sense of the word, like um, be something that, how do I explain compliment? Um, fills in their weaknesses, perhaps, something like that. Okay, um, thank you very much, Tio, for reading. Luis, what do you think this point here is about? You mean. Can you summarize it? It's raining it? a lot in your future. Uh, it's raining a lot. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I can hear the rain as well, okay. but it's nice and atmospheric. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maximize their strengths. I, I believe so. I think uh, we must work in, in we are good and because uh, you, you're gonna get confident and uh, I think confident be confident is important to get money okay good point yes. um, so unless you feel confident you're not gonna earn any money interesting um, yes I, I risk to say the be confident is is essential teacher you risk saying that being confident is essential all right thank you Louise mm -hmm. Ali, what do you think about that? Firstly, what do you think about this maximizing their strengths? And also, what do you think about what Luis has just said about confidence? Uh, about quotes? About uh, confidence. Are you there, Ali? Yes. Uh, Wonderful. Here, but, so uh, what I didn't understand what you asked. All right. So you're confused about what this um this oh are you talking about this quote here? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's talk about you, this. Did you ask about uh, quote? Um. No, I didn't. But I think it's a good thing that we should probably mention. So before you okay. get stuck into your answer, Ali, I just want to ask: Can somebody explain what this quote means? It's, Does anyone uh, understand it? Yeah. Maybe you uh, should uh, have knowledge about uh, everything, uh, at least uh, base knowledge. Uh, but you have to focus uh, only one thing: you are good with. Okay, yes, exactly. So yeah. what this guy says is, I suck. If you suck at something, what does that mean? That you're not good at something. Yeah, thank you. Useless, I would go so far as to say, Tio. Mm -hmm. I'm useless at, right? <laughs> 
if you're useless at 99% of stuff, but to go all out, what does to go all out mean? To put all your energy on it, to focus on it. Yeah, on it. yeah exactly. To put all of your energy into something. So you put all of your energy into the into the one tiny percent that you are actually good at, okay? So basically ignore your weaknesses altogether and only focus on the things that you're good at. So Ali, do you think that's good advice or not? Yeah, I think it's uh, good advice. Uh, you know, uh, everybody uh, work uh, their uh, about their talent or what they like and what they uh, can do. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you think you are uh, good in uh, which field uh, you have to work uh, about that field. Uh, other, uh, I think, uh, if you, uh, how to say, distribute your uh, uh, attention or your time, your uh, uh, things, uh, different things, uh, you uh, waste your time and your energy uh, you have if you work uh, what you are good it's uh, better than the others i think okay yeah sure work at what you were good at absolutely yeah. um okay let's read number 4 this one's interesting ellen could you please read this one for us yes Never trade time for money. Young millionaires realize they'll never become wealthy trading time for money, and neither will you. It's okay for a while, but at some point you have to focus on scaling and leverage. One of the reasons entrepreneurship, network marketing, direct sales and internet businesses are growing exceptionally is because of the endless possibilities and upside. It's not easy and it takes risk, but you must see past the risk and focus on the rewards. Focus on the power of leverage and how to create consistent income without trading time for money. Investment properties, membership sites, building a brand, partnerships, affiliate marketing, different types of programs, etc. Take some time to, realize, to really analyze if you're maximizing your time. If you are trading time for money, make sure it's an intelligent trade. Thank you. Beautiful reading, Ellen. Just one word. This is not exceptionally, but exponentially. Uh, exp <laughs> oh, yeah, exponentially. <laughs> but, yeah, you could substitute exceptionally there, and it would probably work out <laughs> fine, too. <laughs> All right. Um, Ismail, it's your turn. What do you think about this one? What's it really saying? Uh, Do you understand what it's what the point is here? Yes, I understand generally, but uh, may I just ask what scaling and leverage is? Absolutely, Ella. Uh, no, um, who would like to answer? Firstly, let's look at scaling. What does it mean by scaling, if you scale something? Anyone a business kind of guru Is here? Is scale to decide how much... Uh, business scale, I mean? Did yes, you? it's related to business, yes. Small, middle or big? Okay, yes, yeah, so it's to do with size, absolutely. Size. It's to do with size. Um, it's a kind of a specific term in a way. It's basically the ability, I suppose, for your business to expand um, without getting stuck because of some kind of limitation that it has. So you need to make sure that all of the areas of your business are set up so that it can expand easily 
and earn more money without having some kind of limitation. Like if you are relying on your personal um, energy levels in order to grow your business, like you are working and getting paid per hour, there's only so far you can go because you can only uh, work a certain number of hours per week and then you're stop it stops because you're going to die otherwise or fall over or something. So you need to allow your business to be reliant on something more than just the time that you put into it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, and leverage is, is basically the same kind of thing. Whether you did, do you know? Does anyone know what leverage means? I know, but I couldn't explain, teacher. Yeah, it's quite tricky to explain. Yeah. Um, so a lever is is like a stick Stocks that you exchange. use to. You yeah? lift something with. The... Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's a really good way of putting it. Something you you use to lift something. Um, it can also be referring to the power that you have to influence people or achieve what you want to achieve. So to do with your power levels. Mm -hmm. So with that in mind, Ismail, what would you like to say about this point? <laughs> could you, could you uh, explain, I couldn't understand teacher, uh, to uh, trade time for money? All right, yes. Um, would anyone else like to explain this? Did anyone really understand this fully? Yeah, uh, I think exchange or change yeah. your uh, time to money because uh, time is worthier than uh, the money you can get back. If you push yourself too much, uh, it uh, could uh, damage your uh, health. You exactly, can't Alec. Exactly. Well done. Which one is, yeah. Which one is important? Time or money? <laughs> In this case, what it's saying, Ismail, is if you look at my job, for example, basically, according to this point, I can never become a millionaire as a teacher because the only money I receive is, is the money that I get for the hours that I work as a teacher. If I teach, I get money. But if I don't teach, I don't get money. So money is not coming to me regardless of whether or not I'm doing something. So therefore, I can never be a millionaire because uh, the money is only reliant upon how, uh, how many hours I can do as a person, which isn't that many. Um, what it's really saying is that you need some other sources of income, and it gives you examples like um, investment, right? Because if you earn money for investment, you don't actually have to do anything. You just wait, and it happens. Um, or membership sites. If you have members who pay a certain amount for your site, you can get many more members, but it, it's no more time for you to put in. So you can earn more money, but you don't have to work any harder. Can you see what it's talking about? What does membership sites mean? So a membership site is basically, um, if you think about um, maybe a blog, a blog that you're interested in. Um, and it releases material, um, some material perhaps you can read for free. Maybe this website we're looking at right now, entrepreneur.com. You can read some of the articles, but if you're really interested, maybe there's a fee that you can pay, like a subscription, and um, then you receive more information every month by paying a little bit. So the person who writes the information only has to write it once, but they can get money from lots of people, more and more and more, um, depending on how many members they have. But it doesn't actually increase their workload, because they still only have to write one article. Yes. Does that make sense? <laughs> yes. All right. Um, so what do you guys think about this? Is it a bit depressing for those of you who are teachers like me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's, it's fair, teacher. Yeah. I think it's fair because uh, people, uh, they get money for profit, not yeah. for what they product. This is how the world uh, has developing. Because mm -hmm. if you just get paid for what we product, nobody would create anything new. They will just, they will just work in 
be producing something, but they will not develop the product. Yeah. Okay. Good point. So people so who are earning money from uh, uh, from investments is because they are putting money in something who makes profit. Yeah. All right. So it's sort of like a a reward for risk, maybe in a way, or a reward for creativity or innovation, as opposed to just the hours you put in, right? Yes, I agree. Okay, interesting. Thanks, Louise, because I I think this one is quite difficult to interpret. And um, would anyone else like to make a comment about it before we go? Okay, I'd like to. And, sure. Um, uh, <laughs> during our lesson, while well, you're working and we are um, studying the founders of Bubbling, getting money for nothing. Yes, that is true. <laughs> that's a good uh, example. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think that's fair because um, um, uh, they uh, came up with a great idea to yep. create this program, and um, uh, you and me and others didn't. So it's it's kind of fair that because they did it, but not us. And so I'm um, grateful for the idea because it's great. And um, let let's. Um, just um, uh, benefit from it, and, and they will benefit from uh, it too. <laughs> okay, so it's like a win-win situation. <laughs> okay, great. It's a win-win situation. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. <laughs> no, I happen to agree with you, actually, and um, I think that something that I would like to add before we go is that... Um, Yes, it's true that you that you can't necessarily be a, a millionaire from being a teacher. However, in my personal opinion, um, being a millionaire isn't actually the point of all of life. And I really love being a teacher, so I don't care that I'm not a millionaire. <laughs> um, I just like teaching. So for me, it doesn't matter. Uh, but if you do want to be a millionaire, maybe don't be a teacher. <laughs> uh, think about something else. Try to be the creator of verbling2.com. <laughs> All right, guys. It was great having you in class today. I hope it made you think. If you do have um, ambitions to be a millionaire, you better read the rest of the article because there's two more <laughs> points that we missed. Um, but if you don't and you're happy being a teacher or some other job that you enjoy, then <laughs> go and just enjoy the rest of your evening. Or you can come to another verbling class um, because I'm doing a, a writing class next, which looks to be a bit of fun, um, answering questions that nobody knows the answer to. So it's, you can use your imagination. Um, but if I don't see you there, I hope I do see you again soon. Take care. Have a great evening. See you later. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. See you. Bye. Good. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you as well. Um, how was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? It was ages ago now, wasn't it? It's nearly the next weekend. Oh, no, it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's forget about last weekend. It's well into the past now. What are your plans for this weekend? Uh... I think uh, I'm going to work <laughs> this weekend. No. Oh no! How come, Ali? Do you usually work at the weekend? Uh, yeah, in this month uh, you, uh, we have a lot of work to do. It's yep. uh, uh, like a tax uh, season in my country. Mm -hmm. And I think, uh, yeah. <laughs> And uh, it will continue until uh, April, not April, maybe May. Mm. All right. Uh, so you've yeah. got a couple more months to go. Tax season. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of work to do in this month. All right. Well, that doesn't sound like such a great weekend, Ali, but at least you're attending an exciting verbling class today on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome. Lovely to see you. Nice to see you as well. Okay, who else do we have here? Luis, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you, Luis? I'm fine, thank you. Good. And what plans do you have for this weekend? Uh, I have. I, I will ride my bicycle. Ah, okay. And do yeah. you have a plan of where you're going to ride your bike? 
I must be close here. Oh. To visit us, go to verbling.com. Um, and if you want to find out more about the teachers, the best place to go is to the Verbling teacher page, which is the second link I've just pasted into the chat box. Um, if you click on that, you'll find out some information which might help you, um, which includes um, information about the teacher, who they are, what experience they have, etc. Um, videos which give you an idea of the teacher's personality and how their classes go. Um, also, there's schedules. So if you're interested in either attending a class or attending a private tutoring session, you can see the teacher's schedule and you can book slots from the teacher page, so that's helpful. Um, and the other useful thing is that we have a messaging feature which basically allows you to contact any of the teachers if you do have any questions or want to get in touch with them directly. So, a great place to go, um, the Verbling teacher page, it's just verbling.com slash teachers slash the teacher's name, so in my case it's Amy G. Um, check out those pages if you have time. Great, so we're now back to talking about what we're going to do today, which is... Um, talk about the attributes of millionaires. So before we actually read this article, um, we're going to have a little brainstorm and think, what do we think the attributes of millionaires might be? And that is my question for you today, guys. So I'm going to type that into the chat box so you can have a think about it while I'm saying hello to everybody. Um, what do you think an attribute... Let's spell this correctly. Uh, of a millionaire might be. All right, let's say hello. Who came first? I think it was Ali. How are you, Ali? Hi, Amy. I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I took a break. All right, and I'm how was your break? I lately. Pardon? Actually, I had some problem with my workplace and mm. I lose my appetite. appetite to improve my English, teacher. <laughs> you lost your appetite. Back. I miss verbling. Well, we're very glad you you came back. And how's your work now? Has it improved? Sorry? Has Could you repeat work... again? Sure, I'm just wondering. Has your work situation improved now? Yes. Uh, Great. It is okay now. That's awesome. And well, I'm glad to hear it. I motivated again and I joined Verblink. Wonderful. It's great to have you back, Ismail. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and it's great to have you in the class, so welcome to you. Um, Helen, hello. Hi, hello. Good evening, Amy. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Same. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for asking. How are you? So tell us about your, we're discussing our weekends, Ellen, and we've got two people who are working. So tell me, you're not going to work this weekend, are you? Uh, not at my work, but my parents are moving, so I have to help them out. Oh. And, and then um, I'm going to go dancing and um, going to the theater. <laughs> wow, that sounds like a really busy weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but busy in a good way. Yeah, busy in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, enjoy that, Ellen. And you mm, could be you. dancing away and thinking of poor Ali and Paul Slim. Okay, hi, everybody. Welcome to this verbling class with me. I'm teacher Amy. And today's class is going to be a bit of a fun class on um, an interesting topic, which is the six attributes of millionaires. So... If you want to find out what the secrets are of becoming a millionaire, then um, do follow along with us today. I, I think this class is fully booked, so if you do want to join us, you're welcome to watch this class and comment. Um, we're going to be using an article to base our discussion on and basically reading these six attributes and chatting about them, deciding what we think. Do we have these attributes ourselves? If so, do you think it's more likely that we will become a millionaire? Perhaps there are some millionaires among us. You never know. Um, so if you've booked a slot, do come along in and join us. And while we're waiting for everybody to get here, um, I just want to share a couple of pages with you that you may not be aware of. So let me do that now. I'm going to paste the pages into the Verbling chat box, which is working. Yes, Ali. Hooray. Um, the first one is my Verbling Facebook page. 
So if you're a Facebook addict or you like to check in on Facebook now and again, then do click on my Facebook link and like me and you can see what's going on with Verbally. Feel free to do that with as many teachers as you'd like and you'll get their news updates in your feed so you can keep in touch with Verbling English Teaching and Learning as you check Facebook, which is probably quite often if you're like most of us. Um, if you're interested in finding out more about what this thing is that we're doing, if you've never come across Verbling before, um, you're watching this on YouTube or somewhere else on the internet and you think, wow, this is cool, what is it? Um, you might want... 100 kilometers, some sea close. Okay. So, not too far from where you live? Yes. Uh, driving by bicycle is a little far, but by car should be two hours, three hours. Wow, so that's a long way. And do you, what happens when you get there? Do you turn around and come back again to your house? Yeah. Yes, usually I, I do this, yes. Wow. Luis, you're extremely impressive. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Alright, mm. lovely to see you again. Um, and welcome. Thank you, Who else pleasure. do we have here? We have Paul. How are you, Paul? Okay, hello. I'm great. Thank you for asking. And I'm going to work as well on the weekend. So oh, it's no. great. No, it's great. Really? It's great. You love your job? Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, it's a difficult question, so let's not talk about this. Okay. Actually, I'm, I'm having a holiday today and tomorrow, so it's great also. Ah. Uh, so my working schedule doesn't follow the days of the week, so it's pretty random. I see. Yeah. So you just have your weekends at different times? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Okay. Well, it sounds like you're pretty positive about it all, Paul. <laughs> yes, I'm pretty positive. Excellent. Good to hear. Well, welcome good. to the class. Thank you. Um, Ismail, how are you? I am doing well. Thank you, teacher. How are you? I'm great. It's lovely to see you. I haven't seen you for a little while. Yes, 